This video is to show you how to do a Mobius cast on to make a real Mobius and I'm using and crediting the cat body cast on technique because I think it's the easiest one. So to do this cast on you're going to need a long circular needle that is between 120 and 150 centimetres measured from tip to tip. Um, you also need a stitch marker um, because you're going to be knitting in the round. I'm going to break this down into two videos. So the first one is going to take you through the cast on and then the second one will take you through joining up to knitting the round and knitting the first round of the Mobius. So to do this, you're going to start with a slip knot and the slip knot counts as a stitch in your cast on number. Put the slip knot onto the needle and then what you need to do is just slide that slip knot into the middle of the needle and you have, so you have it in the center like this and you don't need the right hand tip of the needle until you do the first round of knitting. You're going to do all of the cast on just with the left hand needle tip and so you're going to bring the left hand needle tip in an anti-clockwise movement around here so that then you will get hold of your work in your right hand and if you're right-handed like me, just for the cast on, you're going to cast on with your left hand. It actually feels a bit like crochet. After this, it goes back to normal. So just to recap here, we've got the slip knot, which I've got hold of, and the working yarn and the tip of the needle. And this is the shape that I think is easiest for you to try and recreate because you can see all the spaces where the needle tip is going to go and really this needle tip is the only thing that's going to move. So to begin the cast on the needle tip comes towards me and it goes underneath the cable then it goes back away from me and over the top of the yarn and then back towards me underneath that cable again and that brings the yarn with it and then I do a yarn over. So let me do that again. The needle tip comes towards me it goes underneath the cable away from me, over the yarn, back towards me, under the cable, bringing the yarn with it, and then I do a yarn over. One more time. The needle tip comes towards me, it goes underneath the cable, back away from me, over the wool, brings the wool back towards me as it comes underneath again, and then this yarn over. So what we've got here, every time I do this, is basically adding um, two little bumps to the top and two little bumps to the underneath. Um, the slip knot actually does count as a stitch, so I've now got two, four, six bumps there, all very loose, two, four, six, including the slip knot on the bottom. So each time we do this, we're adding two bumps to the top, two to the bottom, which means that you're adding four stitches to your cast on. So every time I do this movement, I count two, four, six, eight, and so on. And as I'm doing it, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just move these stitches, and they're not really stitches, they're just wraps, along here so that they don't all bunch up at the top. Because you're casting on in twos, you, you need to be conscious that you are actually adding two to the top and two to the bottom. So if you want to make a Mobius bigger and you think I'll add 10 stitches, for example, um, you are actually adding 20. So it's very easy to very quickly increase the circumference of your Mobius and end up with one that's really gigantic, which I have done. So if you want to make adjustments, just bear in mind that you probably need to be fairly conservative. You could, of course, just cast on in fours. Uh, but I find that quite difficult when I get past about 20. So I just do it in twos and I'm just conscious then that 120 stitches, for example, cast on in twos would really give me 240. If you're knitting a pattern that has uh, a number that isn't divisible by two, a stitch count, for instance, you want something different um, for your pattern, you've got one round of knitting at the beginning of a Mobius, usually when you can make that adjustment, and that is where I would change it to the, re the stitch repeat that I wanted. So I'm going to cast a few more on now. Slow recap. The needle tip comes towards me. It goes underneath there, over 
the wool back towards me and a yarn over. I've got hold of the cable, I'm keeping it underneath there and towards me, under the cable, back over the wool, towards me again, under the cable and a yarn over. So I'm now going to go ahead and just add some stitches. This is the sort of circular movement that you'll be doing. And when I've done this, we'll come back and do uh, another video to show you how you begin to make your Mobius, but don't do this really tight. It needs to have that gentle tension on it so that you can actually move it. Otherwise the first round is going to be really difficult. So I'll pop back in, in a few minutes and show you how to do the rest. <laughs> 